But we want to go back to Marcia Kramer, who's in the newsroom, for a further update. Marcia? Well, we have a number of updates. Number one, um, CNN is now reporting that there was a third explosion at the World Trade Center, probably an explosion from the ground that caused World Trade Center 1 to collapse on top of itself. Again, there was a third explosion. It's unclear what caused it, whether it was a bomb or whether the first plane that crashed into the tower had somehow been booby trapped with a bomb that was timed to explode later after the crash had occurred. But CNN is reporting that there was a third explosion that caused World Trade Center 1 to collapse within itself and then collapse on other surrounding buildings. But you know, it's interesting here to reflect about the timing of this, what appears to be a terrorist attack. It comes just a few weeks before there was supposed to be a major world gathering of Jewish leaders on the 23rd of September that was supposed to be bringing in people from all around the country and around the world to voice support for Israel in its, its battles with the Palestinians. Um, in fact, all of the Israeli leaders were expected to attend and it was expected to try to send a message to the United Nations, which has its opening session at that time, that Israel needed support. Also, there is another event uh, the week after that. The United Monetary Fund is going to be meeting in Washington, and that was also expected to draw protesters from all around the world. In fact, so many protesters that Washington police officials had, had started building um, walls around various Washington monuments in an attempt to protect the monuments, Capitol buildings, and others from a possibility that there could be disruption. Now, I, can also, I also want to tell you that President Bush is now saying he is launching a full-scale investigation to hunt down there. these terrorists. President Bush launching a full-scale investigation to hunt down these terrorists. I guess President Bush is no, long, no longer equivocating about whether or not the United States is under terrorist attack. Lisa Michael, back to you. Right, and we want to point out that the president is not and was not in Washington, D.C. this morning. He was in Sarasota, Florida, talking to school children when this happened, so he was completely safe. Um, uh, Governor Pataki, we understand, is in the city, and Mayor Giuliani is also here, of course, and he was preparing to speak earlier this morning, but of course that was prior to all of the secondary uh, blasts. And Marcia? Sorry to interrupt you, Lisa. Marsha, we understand you have another update. Yeah, unfortunately, I do. Um, CNN is now, believe it or not, explo uh, reporting an explosion on Capitol Hill. Fortunately, uh, the explosion happened after uh, Capitol Police had started to evacuate the Capitol. We don't know if any of the, the uh, senators or representatives were still in the building when the explosion happened, but there is another explosion. That makes two explosions and a fire. Washington. An explosion at the Pentagon that we've confirmed was caused by a plane. An explosion at the Capitol, we don't know what caused it. And a fire on the Washington Mall, we don't know what caused that. But the fact that there have been so many attacks would seem to indicate that there are people on the ground as well as in the air that are helping to set off and to participate in this terrorist event. Are you able to hear me? If you, if you could, could you please reiterate the information you had regarding uh, the schools in the uh, lower Manhattan area? Well, what we're told is that there are three schools in the lower Manhattan area. There is Stuyvesant High School, which is a high school for gifted students, and there are two elementary schools that are also in that area. They're in the Batteries Park City complex. What we're told right now is that the kids are safe. The kids are in uh, the classrooms, but parents who want to go and take their kids home are going to be permitted to do so. That's, um, as as of, of right now, I don't know what they're going to find when they get to the scene. All air traffic, all air traffic, rather shut down exactly. nationwide. And for those of you just joining us, as you continue to look live at the only standing tower remaining of the World Trade Centers, the second had collapsed not too long ago. Both have been hit by. Uh, planes. We understand it was a third explosion, however, that brought the tower to collapse on top of is what we understand are other buildings in the area. No word right now on the extent of the casualties, but clearly.